Tonight, Robert said, where are you taking me for dinner? And I said, it's almost dark. Why don't I cook you some pasta carbonara? So I put on a pan of water to boil for the pasta, cut up some bacon, because I always had utility bacon in the refrigerator. Cracked one, two, three eggs and beat them up while the bacon's cooking. And then I, gra I, I beat them up really good. And I added some, I grated just a little bit of Parmesan, a hunk of Parmesan cheese in there. Not, it was just about an, an ounce. It wasn't much at all. And then I got the, the water was boiling. That's the longest thing about this whole meal. I, I broke my pasta up because we don't like to sit and twirl and twirl and twirl. Set your timer for six minutes because this was thin spaghetti. The bacon keeps on cooking. And then as soon as the pasta is ready, well, I put some, I added about a three quarters of a cup to a cup of cream to the eggs and makes a good thick sauce. And I have these English peas and I, I just had a few of them, about a half a cup. I threw them in with the bacon and stirred them around. They were frozen. Uh, so I'm out of peas. It's got to go on my grocery list. And just stirred them around. And I added the hot pasta to the skillet with the bacon and the peas. And I just keep tossing it around and tossing it around. And get it good and hot because the pasta is already hot. And then I'm going to add the egg and cream and cheese mixture to it. And it is smelling wonderful. And I'm going to cook this less than two minutes. Just stir it around. And the eggs will cook. The, if you don't have cream, just use plain milk. It doesn't matter. And just stir it around. I, I've even made this with just a can of the Kraft Parmesan cheese. Just about a, a half a cup of that. So it doesn't take a lot of anything. Four or five slices of bacon cut up. I, I usually add a little more bacon. And then before you know it, in less than 25 minutes, pretty much, from start to finish, we were sitting down to eat dinner. And it is yummy. Grate a little more Parmesan on top. And you have a quickie meal ready to go at most any time. Yum!